The eight strongest students have been selected after six days of training in the training camp. This time, Soma will compete in a cooking battle with one of the remaining seven contestants, with the theme being Japanese bento lunchboxes. His opponent is the winner of Group B, Alice, who is known as a culinary genius in molecular gastronomy. As soon as the match starts, Alice explodes with excitement, but Soma doesn't pay much attention as he is still half asleep. The referee quickly announces the official start of the two-hour bento cooking competition. Soma notices Alice preparing red liquid tubes and then meticulously slicing the meat into equal pieces. Soma can't help but praise her skills. After a while, Alice finishes her dish. The food is hidden in a mysterious smoke. It turns out she made sushi bento, and the white bones are actually liquid nitrogen, which helps maintain the freshness of the sushi. The sushi includes abalone, tuna, and salmon roe. When eaten with seaweed, it creates a wonderful flavor because the glutamic acid in the seaweed complements the acidity in the fish. Next, the judges taste the final sushi plate and discover a completely different delicious taste. It turns out the red liquid tubes were tomato juice, which when added to the sushi, enhances its purity. Finally, the carp sushi with a round jelly is a concentrated and flavorful sauce. This bento is so delicious that even the principal can't help but be amazed. On the other hand, Soma has also completed his dish, but his seaweed bento looks quite plain. Alice doesn't even know what it is. The judges first taste the side dish and are surprised by the sweet and rich taste of the fried fish cake with bamboo shoots. Next is the snowfish cooked in broth and then fried, served with delicious egg sauce. Then the judges open the container underneath to enjoy the miso soup cooked with smoked pork belly. The chef simply puts the ingredients and seasonings in a heat-insulated box, and after a few hours, the soup is conveniently cooked. However, the last rice container is truly a masterpiece when it is sprinkled with some green grains. Everyone tastes it and discovers an incredibly delicious flavor. It turns out Soma used a children's food to make artificial salmon roe from seaweed extract. Furthermore, there is dried bonito inside this rice container to enhance the flavor of the whole dish. A hot soup pours into the flavorful seaweed rice, and everyone quickly finishes multiple bowls of rice. This dish is so delicious that even Alice can't help but be captivated, even though her sushi bento is also delicious, Soma's seaweed bento is even more flavorful. Knowing that Alice is not satisfied, Soma invites her to taste his bento. Indeed, after tasting a piece, she can't help but take more bites. Alice feels that Soma's seaweed bento has warmed her soul in the cold winter days. In the end, Soma emerges as the winner, while Alice lies on the ground crying and complaining. Although Soma helps her up, Alice is still not satisfied and swears to seek revenge against this detestable guy. Next, there will be a match between Megumi, the representative of Group B, and the fierce young man from Group A, with the main theme being ramen. Before that, Megumi was very worried because her opponent is an experienced chef with many years of cooking experience. However, Megumi's mother always believed in her daughter, so she was determined to win using the ingredients her mother sent from their hometown. Although the theme is ramen, a popular common dish, cooking delicious ramen is not simple. At this moment, Ryo is preparing the broth for the noodles using carefully processed seafood, without any fishy smell. Even the shrimp shells are not wasted. He puts everything in a bowl and grinds them into small pieces. Alice reveals that Ryo has been a head chef at a restaurant with many years of cooking experience. Ryo has defeated many opponents before. It is extremely difficult for Megumi to win against him. On the other hand, Megumi is also simmering her own broth. The clear soup is sparkling and even the judges have to come closer to observe. The color of the soup is not only beautiful but also fragrant. At this point, Ryo has finished blanching the noodles. Then he starts adding toppings to the bowl of lobster ramen. Which looks incredibly attractive with its bright red color. The broth is cooked from shrimp meat and fish intestines, which gives it a delicious and rich flavor. The accompanying topping is a grilled shrimp patty that is crispy and has been sprinkled with dried shrimp shells to enhance the flavor. All of these elements make the bowl of ramen perfect. After finishing it, even the director immediately leaves. On the other hand, Megumi has also completed her dish. It is a simple and pure vegetable soup ramen, so the broth has a very clean and refreshing taste. Megumi used soybean paste, so the broth of her ramen has a beautiful and clear color. Seeing that, Ryo was curious and also wanted to ask Megumi for a bowl of food to taste how good it was. In return, he also let the other person taste his bowl of noodles. Ryo's lobster ramen was pitted against Megumi's vegetable noodle, and the two were fiercely competing with each other. In the end, the victory belonged to Ryo's lobster ramen. Although Megumi failed, all her efforts were recognized by everyone. Even the principal, who was not paying attention, had escaped at some point without his knowledge. After today's match, there are only six players left, and each one is aiming for the final victory. 
The next day, two more matches will be held in the autumn election to select the four players who will advance to the semi-finals. In another place, Soma just woke up and was taking a walk when he coincidentally met a cool guy named Subaru. After locking his bike with 99 locks, Subaru started talking to Soma and even showed off his shirt with a self-embroidered word. At this time, inside the auditorium, all the audience was watching the third quarter final match between Hisako and Hayama with the main theme of hamburger. Hayama decided to make kebab, a famous Turkish grilled meat sandwich. Meanwhile, Hisako chose a fresh sea base as the ingredient. She used a knife to cut and process the fish right in front of everyone, then put the sea bass in a pot to simmer with Chinese herbs and Chinese wine. Then she mixed the fish and its organs with minced pork and grilled them on a pan. After the steamed buns in the pot were cooked, Hisako's sea base meat hamburger was also completed. The thick and elastic bun layer, when eaten with the pan-fried sea base meat, was a perfect match. In the meat, Hisako added a bit of sea base essence and finely ground wheat flour, which had the effect of warming the body from the inside. Sea base is a precious medicinal ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine, so its meat is not only delicious but also good for health. Hisako was like a sea base cooking god. On the other side, Hayama was grilling the meat on the stove, and the fragrant smell made the audience and even the judges eagerly anticipate. When people took a bite, the first sensation was the crispy and juicy bun soaked in sauce. Hayama added yogurt to enhance the aroma of the spices, and the meat filling was made from both goat and beef, while pickled cucumbers would enhance the sweetness of the meat. The spicy and pungent mustard sauce would make the hamburger even more delicious, and a bit of sourness from dried mango powder would make the flavor more refined. All of this made people's appetite explode. The judges even commented that Hayama's potential could rival that of a god's taste. In the end, he overwhelmingly defeated Hisako. After watching this match, everyone was excited, especially Takumi, who was determined to defeat Soma. After going through many things, Takumi not only saw Soma as an opponent but also as his friend. At this moment, when Takumi returned to his room, he found Subaru tampering with his moon-shaped knife, but Subaru didn't stop there. He even smeared chewing gum on the knife and challenged Takumi to a culinary duel. The match was approved by the Academy's principal. If Takumi won, Subaru would have to kneel down and apologize to the knife he had dirted. On the other hand, if Takumi lost, his moon-shaped knife would belong to Subaru. Someone revealed that Subaru was a very frightening person because he could use any despicable means to win. It was said that in the past, Subaru had won 99 matches, and all his opponents were defeated by their own dishes. Subaru also had a liking for taking the kitchen knives of his current opponents. He was currently holding 99 knives from those he had defeated. This time's match had the main theme of sponge cake, and it was unexpected that someone as big as Subaru could make a cake so delicately like a young girl. While making the cake, the more air that was beaten into the egg, the better the cake would absorb the flavor. At this moment, Subaru suddenly took out a bottle of golden lemon liqueur, which originated from Italy, making everyone extremely surprised because this was Tagumi's ingredient. Subaru also revealed that his fresh cream had New Zealand cheese added to make it creamier compared to Takumi's fresh cream. Before participating in the match, Subaru thoroughly studied the cooking style of his opponent to control that person. So he knew Takumi's recipe very well. Indeed, after the trays of batter from both of them were put in the oven, Subaru's cake batter had a darker and more beautiful color than Takumi's. He used almond flour instead of wheat flour to make a more fragrant and flavorful sponge cake. Subaru's cake was quickly completed, with a layer of hazelnut caramel on top, adorned with two slices of lemon. The judge immediately sensed the fragrant smell of the almond layer combined with the sweetness of the hazelnuts when he put the cake in his mouth. Even though the judge hated Subaru's cooking style, he couldn't deny the fact that his sponge cake was really delicious. Next, the judges will score Takumi's sponge cake. Although the two cakes look similar, Takumi's cake has a strong lemon flavor. It turns out Takumi used a type of lemon jam from England with a mild sour taste. In addition, he also used olive oil to neutralize the sourness of the lemon, making the taste of the cake more pleasant. The younger brother in the stands immediately recognized it as the special olive oil bottle that their father had given them. However, Subaru anticipated this move and replaced the lemon jam with Moroccan salted lemon, a type of lemon that has a combination of sour, salty, sweet, and bitter flavors, which enhances the deliciousness of the sponge cake. After all, Subaru knew all of Takumi's ideas and plans, and in the end, Takumi failed and his moon-shaped knife officially belonged to Subaru. A while later, when the Soma group returned home, they found Subaru in the room with a key for some reason. So everyone gathered outside to eavesdrop on the conversation between Subaru and Soma. Subaru wanted to challenge Soma to take possession of the kitchen knife and believed that Soma would lose just like Takumi. But Soma said that Subaru was the pitiful one because he only copied other people's recipes and modified them, so he could never truly experience the joy of cooking. Soma accepted the challenge with the condition that if Subaru lost, he would have to return the kitchen knife to everyone. 
Soma also revealed that he would make a beef stew, and if he lost, he would give up his passion for cooking and never cook again in his life. The next day, a reporter came to interview Soma, but he waved the little guy away, thinking he was a spy. At first, Soma refused the interview because the guy was too annoying, but he eventually agreed because the little guy kept coming to give him gifts. Soma's extensive knowledge about beef stew impressed Missouri. Then Soma started simmering the beef bones to make a bowl of beef stew for the little guy to take pictures of. Missouri only took a bite, and the tender beef melted in his mouth. It was the most delicious bowl of beef stew he had ever eaten. Then Soma continued to cook with different sauces and seasonings for the little guy to taste and evaluate. They were all delicious, and Missouri ate so much that his stomach was full. This kid loves eating meat, while elsewhere Arena was reading a romance novel that Hisako had just given her. Just then, Soma brought his pot of beef stew to her house for evaluation. Alice was the one who gave Soma directions to this place. Irina said that it was not easy for someone else to invite her to taste their food. So Soma also had to meet one of her conditions. But after tasting Soma's beef stew, she said that his dish had gone off track. Before Soma left, Irina reminded him that he had to find the remaining volumes of the novel for her. After saying that, she slammed the door shut. Unexpectedly, the legendary Tun also liked reading romance novels. There are only five days left until the match. Takumi gave Soma some ingredients and blushed as he told him not to lose to Subaru. After saying that, he ran home. In the following days, Mitsuri had to leave the room for Soma to focus on researching the dish. Today, everyone was present in the auditorium to watch the public match between Soma and Subaru. Which was also the first semi-final match in the autumn elections. The judges for this competition were former graduates. Down below, Soma started simmering the broth. He decided to use the tail part of the beef, which contains a lot of fat and collagen, as the main ingredient. For seasoning, Soma chose miso paste and thyme leaves, which have a gentle and pleasant aroma that goes well with beef stew. The tail part of the beef that Soma was simmering was a cheering gift that Takumi had given him. On the other hand, Subaru decided to use smoked salted pork as a side dish for the beef stew, with a perfect balance of meat and fat. When searing the meat, it emitted the aroma of mesquite wood, which is only found in the southern United States. As for the seasoning for the meat, he used licorice root, star anise, and a little black sugar. If only considering the seasoning, Soma was inferior to his opponent, so the situation was extremely difficult for him. If he lost, he would have to give up cooking forever. It turned out that while Miss Yuri was writing her article, Subaru was hiding and secretly watching the information about Soma's dish, so he was able to copy Soma's beef stew recipe. However, immediately after that, Soma took out a box of mixed beef that was not in the recipe. He fried the beef tongue with butter and olive oil, cooked the beef with red wine and bay leaves, and finally grilled the pork belly on a charcoal stove. Subaru praised Soma because usually the chefs he challenged would lose all their fighting spirit, but Soma was different. Subaru quickly finished his beef stew, and as soon as the judges took a bite, they immediately sensed the gentle aroma of mesquite wood smoke, the rich beef stew sauce paired with salty and fatty pork, but it was not greasy at all. It was truly a perfect fusion of pork and beef. On the other side, Soma also completed his mixed beef stew from the combined ingredients. After tasting it, the judges exclaimed that it was delicious. The meat was tender with each chew, the beef tongue and stomach were chewy and crispy. And the grilled pork belly was juicy without being dry. Every ingredient that passed through Soma's hands reached perfection. Based on his experiences, Soma continued to create new dishes with unique ideas that Subaru couldn't imitate. The creativity of a chef knows no bounds. In the end, all the members of the judging panel scored Soma as the winner with a completely dominant score. After Subaru tasted Soma's mixed beef stew, he also had to admit that it was extremely delicious. Subaru was defeated by Soma, so all the kitchen knives would be returned to their original owners. Subaru said he would leave the culinary academy, but immediately received a painful headbutt from Soma. Soma also reminded Subaru that a true chef must rise from their failures. Currently, Soma is the first contestant to enter the finals, while Hayama and Ryo are the remaining two contestants. The winner of the second semi-final will compete against Soma. The next day, somehow Soma managed to sneak into the VIP room to watch the second semi-final match with Irina. After a while, little Alice also squeezed in. At this point, Hayama had chosen duck as his ingredient, while Ryo had chosen live eel. He personally prepared and cleaned its organs. Hayama started brushing sauce on the meat and marinated it with some spices before grilling it on a pan, spreading a fragrant aroma throughout the hall, making everyone's mouth water. In that moment, Hayama became the dominant figure in the space. On the other side, Ryo was frying the eel with hot oil and then stewing it with red wine. 
Hayama quickly prepared the sauce and completed his dish, which was French-style braised duck with a sauce made from honey and caramel. The judges immediately sensed the tender duck meat blending perfectly with the rich sauce that Hayama had balanced perfectly. At this point, Ryo had finished his French-style stewed eel. This guy even reminded the judges to eat quickly before it got cold. And after everyone tasted it, they felt a stimulating sensation running down their spines like an electric current. It turned out that Ryo had added dried plums and mashed potatoes to the sauce to enhance the delicious taste of the eel. When this stewed eel is eaten with French bread, it creates an explosive and intense gustatory experience. The fragrant potatoes, the crispy and soft bread, combined with the flavorful eel, truly made it an amazing dish. Next, the judges would score the two contestants. After the four judges voted, both Hayama's French-style braised duck and Ryo's French-style stewed eel received two votes. However, the final judge found both dishes delicious, so she cast a tie-breaking vote, making Ryo furious. Finally, director Rin made a decision that both contestants would participate in the final match against Soma. This was a decisive battle between three contestants that had never happened before in the history of the Culinary Academy. Ryo seemed quite bitter about this result, while the other two guys were fine, never afraid of anyone. The main ingredient for the final match had been chosen by the organizers as Sanma Fish, also known as Japanese Sari. The final match would take place in 10 days and promised to be the pinnacle of the competition. This guy even didn't forget to exchange a few words with his opponent before being dragged home by Alice, which made Hayama feel angry and determined to win at all costs. The next day, Soma went to the city's largest seafood market to buy swordfish. He also invited Megumi to come along, and on the way, they coincidentally ran into Alice and Ryo, which made Megumi feel quite nervous. They all started talking about how to choose swordfish. During the appropriate freezing time, the presence of inosinic acid in the fish enhances the flavor of the meat. Soma and Ryo each chose a different fish to make swordfish sashimi, and asked Megumi to evaluate them. After trying them, she found that Soma's sashimi was not as delicious as Ryo's. In terms of ingredient selection, Soma was inferior to his opponents, and he also discovered that Hayama had been to the same place to buy swordfish and had chosen the best one just by looking at it. In the past, Soma's father told him that it takes 10 years of practice to accurately judge whether a fish is good or not. This shows that his opponents are not simple either, and this competition seems to be quite intense. The next day, Soma immediately invited Mito to his house, but in reality, he wanted her help with cooking, pretending to be his little sister. Soma decided to marinate the swordfish using three different methods, salted rice, smoking, and high humidity in the refrigerator provided by Mito. Among them, his two dormitory friends are experts in smoking and marinating, while Mito knows a lot about food preservation. Two days later, Soma asked them to taste the finished products and analyze the advantages and flavors of the swordfish marinated using the three different methods. However, Soma still hasn't found the perfect method to surpass Hayama and Ryo. He needs to find a catalyst to enhance the flavor of the swordfish. While passing by his grandmother's room, Soma happened to see food on the table, and that's when he came up with an idea for his swordfish dish. Today, everyone gathered in the auditorium to watch the final match between the three best candidates in the autumn election, Hayama, Ryo, and Soma. This time, there was a new member in the judging panel, Alice's mother, who is also a famous molecular gastronomy researcher. However, because she lives in Denmark, her Japanese is very poor. In addition, both she and her daughter like to tease Irina. The judges and MC quickly took their positions. Then Ryo and Hayama presented their carefully selected swordfish, like two precious swords, while Soma's swordfish looked quite dull. Everyone was speechless. Soma's unappetizing marinated swordfish was heavily criticized and ridiculed by his opponents. At that moment, the sky suddenly opened up, and the moonlight shone inside, which is why this arena is called the Lunar Heaven. Amidst the excitement of the audience, the MC announced the official start of the competition. Soma's marinated swordfish didn't catch anyone's attention, while his opponent's swordfish were not only delicious but also had a variety of cooking ingredients. Ryo cut a piece of heat-resistant film and used it to wrap the fish. Then steamed it at high temperature. Ryo quickly became the first one to complete his dish. The fish was still bubbling inside the paper bag. After opening the bag, a captivating aroma immediately filled the air. This is the traditional Italian dish of paper-wrapped swordfish. After tasting a piece, everyone could feel the sweetness of the swordfish combined with various freshwater seafood. Rio also added herb butter, which melts and seeps into every piece of fish meat when exposed to high temperature. This dish was so delicious that after eating it, Alice's mother's body emitted a seven-colored halo. It was an extremely enticing flavor that made everyone feel as if they were merging with the ocean. Next, it was Hayama's turn to present his dish, which was thinly sliced raw swordfish. It is also a famous Italian appetizer. However, Hayama added a twist by grilling the raw fish directly at high temperature. 
The grilled fish quickly emitted a tempting aroma that captivated everyone in the auditorium. The judges couldn't resist and immediately tasted a piece. The sweet fish meat had a slight spiciness from the pepper, along with the fragrant aroma of three different types of sake, suzu, mezen, and sake used for grilling. It was both fragrant and delicious, leaving no need for dipping sauce. If Ryo's swordfish was like a large sword, Hayama's was like a slender blade. Although the blade was small, it was extremely sharp. Now it was Soma's turn to complete his dish. He named his dish rice with swordfish and rice bran. Each cooked grain of rice was stirred in a small bowl filled with smoke, hot and ready to be eaten. The hot rice, when eaten with the marinated swordfish, had a rich flavor and the aroma of rice bran. At this moment, everyone suddenly felt the sword had been drawn out of its sheath after it had been soaked in some kind of soup and poured over the hot rice and tuna. The principal took a bite and instantly burst into laughter, as it turned out to be a soup made from fish and soy milk. The combination of inosinic acid in the tuna and glutamic acid in the soy milk enhanced the flavor of the fish. Once you had a bowl of rice with the fish and soy soup, you couldn't resist but keep eating until the bowl was empty. After tasting all three dishes, the principal began to give his feedback. In terms of taste, all three were equally good, but in terms of creativity, Soma stood out the most among the three. However, what determined the winner of this match was the dish that showcased the chef's unique style. Many years ago, Hayama was an orphan living in the Rat's Nest district until he was adopted by Shioni. Thanks to her care and guidance, Hayama's life took a different turn. That's why today Hayama cooked with all his heart, and he emerged as the winner. Witnessing that moment, Shioni shed tears and he didn't say anything, he just hugged her tightly. The other two young men seemed disappointed after losing to Hayama, but after trying his grilled fish wrapped in paper, they couldn't help but admit that it was delicious. From opponents in the kitchen, they became friends through their love for cooking. The next day, the two young men came to Hayama's house to eat, devouring all his pastries and even asking for two more portions of grilled tuna. They were really hungry, so they quickly grabbed the food. It was then that Shiomi revealed that the students at the academy would have to participate in a practical training program. It was an official course for the students to experience the atmosphere of a real kitchen. The first internship location would be working in pairs, and unexpectedly, Soma's partner would be Hisako. Today, the two of them would intern at a European restaurant owned by Mamoru. He even took the opportunity to ask for their autographs, thinking that they would become famous chefs in the future. Quickly, the two of them put on the restaurant's staff uniforms after losing to Hayama. Hisako felt that she didn't deserve to be by Irina's side anymore, so she decided to leave on her own. Suddenly, a large number of customers entered the restaurant. Due to the nearby subway station, this restaurant was always crowded during lunchtime, making it difficult for the chefs to keep up. Hisako felt like it was a battlefield. However, Soma remained calm and worked diligently. He prepared each dish one by one, and after finishing the meal, the customers were very satisfied. Soma then patted Hisako on the back and told her that she did a great job. In addition, Soma also noticed some shortcomings of the restaurant and suggested some improvements. First, they needed to hire more staff because the restaurant was too busy. Second, they should reduce the number of dishes on the menu. Lastly, they should only serve customers who had made reservations and reject walk-in customers. After the restaurant changed its service style, the business became much smoother. Knowing that Hisako was still troubled by Irina's situation, Soma was too sleepy to listen to her. He only told Hisako that if she wanted something, she should let go of her pride and pursue it. After that, Soma asked Hisako to bring some comic books for Irina, which made her very happy as the knot in her heart was finally untied. The next day, Soma continued his internship at Shino's French restaurant. While cleaning, he got to know two female chefs, Lucy and Zui, and the head chef, Aeon, the owner of the restaurant. Every evening, before serving the customers, all the utensils on the table were neatly arranged by the staff. As soon as the customers sat down, the kitchen immediately went into action, and the chefs worked quickly. Feeling the immense pressure. Even a small mistake from Soma unintentionally affected everyone and slowed down the progress in the kitchen. Shino said that if Soma continued like this, he wouldn't be able to endure until the last day of the internship. However, the next morning, Soma woke up early and single-handedly cleaned the entire kitchen and the pile of dirty dishes, which surprised everyone even more. During the internship, Soma made rapid progress. Every day, he asked a few questions about French cuisine, and after just a few short days, Soma caught up with the speed of everyone else in the kitchen. Sometimes, he even worked faster. On the last evening, the senpais came to visit the restaurant, and unexpectedly, Shino's mother was also present. The reason Shino liked French cuisine so much was that when he and his mother went to a French restaurant in the past, he saw his mother so happy, and he wanted his mother to always be smiling like that.
After the restaurant closed, Soma went into the kitchen to make a French-style roasted quail dish to have Shino appraise it. Hidden inside the tender and juicy meat layer was a fresh egg custard sauce combined with finely chopped sautéed butter and onions to enhance the rich sweetness. The filling wrapped in cabbage would absorb the meat juices when roasting the quail at high temperature. After tasting it, Shino praised Soma as a French cuisine expert. He also helped Soma perfect the cooking method of this dish. Soma was extremely grateful and referred to Shino as his master. Later, Shino was teased by his two younger siblings, but despite his tough exterior, he felt very happy inside. Thank you for watching the entire video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, share, and also hit the notification bell to receive updates when the channel releases new videos. Thank you.